Good morning everyone. Today is Tuesday, 13 February 2024, 6th week in ordinary time. A contrast between the source of temptation and the source of good is presented today in the readings. The first reading remarks that those who persevere through the temptation are uh, truly blessed. Emphasis is also placed on the fact that God is not the source of temptation since God is the source of only good. Temptations come from an individual's own desire that are contrary to God's will. In today's Gospel, Jesus speaks about the leaven of the Pharisees and Herod. The leaven of the Pharisees and Herod is that evil that causes more evil to grow within others. The evil within the Pharisees and Herod is truly a vicious cycle uh, causing more and more vices to grow and increase. As I reflect on the readings, I think about two different cycles, the vicious cycle and the virtuous cycle. The vicious cycle begins when an individual or a group of individuals focus on himself, herself or themselves rather than looking to God or others. It starts out as a single selfish act that leads to more injustice and evil deeds. That is the leaven about which Jesus warns his disciples to avoid. It is easy to get stuck to sucked into temptation to do what is wrong. It may seem so minor or trivial at that at the time. Yet that is how vicious vicious cycle gets started. It is it takes conscious conscious effort to fight against the temptation. In fact, it is something we cannot overcome at least without God's help. The virtuous cycle is just the opposite. It begins with a realization of God's presence. It is a good thing that inspires one or more individuals to start uh, an upward helix towards God. It is important to realize that all good originates, uh, originates in and with, with the Lord God. God puts the desire to do good within us. We can cooperate with God's uh, graces and join the process of lifting up the good. The choice is ours. It will take work uh, to fight te the temptations and look to the Lord Jesus. It may seem impossible and not worth the effort. Yet we must see beyond the immediate trials and listen to God's word. God blesses all three.